Hi folks, just got a product review for you today and we're going to be looking at the ION Discover Keyboard USB. Now you may ask, what is this? It's basically a MIDI controller keyboard, just 25 keys. Um, now the good thing about these keys is they are all velocity sensitive. They're not full size and they're not weighted, but they are velocity sensitive. Um, now obviously a piano has more than 25 keys so to compensate for that you've got a couple of octave buttons here so octave down octave up so you can actually get the full range um, the full piano range out of this keyboard and you've got a couple of pitch bend buttons and uh, there's a sustain button as well and a button labeled program which I think actually opens the program that is basically all there is to that you get a USB cable with it and you also get some software as well you get a piano synth called Pianissimo which I have to say is an excellent synth and also a, a tutorial um, which I can't remember what it's called now um, some easy keyboard light software or something. Now what I'll say about that is that's only a demo version, it's not made clear on the box, that was a bit disappointing, though I didn't buy it for that anyway, to be fair, so that is a little bit of a, well it's an unfair gripe really, but if you had bought it expecting to get the full software, uh -uh. however the Pianissimo is a fully licensed version, you do get a license key on the back of the CD. Now the thing about that is, this is worth the price of the software alone. This is retailing at the moment in the UK for about, cheapest I've seen it is 30 quid. Um, I think it's about $30 in the USA as well. And the software itself is going for about $69. So as you can see, it's good value for that. Um, I must admit, um, I've not always been impressed with the free piano synths and piano sounds, uh, I've struggled to get a decent piano sound, I have to say the one on this is pretty good. So it's, it's pretty easy to use, works with uh, Mac um, and Windows, uh, Windows 7 64-bit is supported as well, so that means it will work with Vista and Vista 64-bit and XP, though the software only works with Windows. Okay, so the keyboard will work with Mac and Windows, but the software is just Windows. But you probably are buying this because you want a MIDI controller keyboard. So, you probably want to know, well, what does it sound like? I'm just going to open up the Pianissimo software and you can have a listen um, to the piano sounds and it's just going to take a short while to open up. The Pianissimo software itself is pretty clever because you can basically alter the sound of the piano here quite easily. You can do funky things like adjust the lid so you can put the lid down on the piano and open it and that will make a change to the sound. If you don't want to use the sustain button on the keyboard you can actually click on the sustain pedal on the software and of course the addition the the advantage of using the software is you've also got the soft pedal as well you can adjust the tone controls if you wish the velocity curve sympathetic resonance chorus if you want to put a bit of chorus on it you can even adjust the EQ you've also got the opportunity to alter the hammer sounds and the, the type of reverb that's on there as well and you can also record what you're playing you can record the left hand and right hand part separately so there we go but what does it sound like oh, let's give that a little bit more volume so you can hear that okay okay so you can hear the velocity sensitive keys working there now i'm no pianist or keyboard player to be honest so um, I'm probably not the best example <laughs> to use but um, you know I know where the notes are and I'm using this for, for putting MIDI parts into Cubase so that, that's why I've got it but you know it, it is really handy so you want to know how the octave works so that's the lowest note you've got in standard you press the octave down key it lights up you also see on the keyboard on the screen you might be able to see that which key is being depressed you want to go down another octave there you go, you can. If you want to go the other way, just press the octave up button. When you've got back to how it is normally, both lights go off, you see. So you can instantly tell whether you're an octave up or an octave down. You can hear the... What I will say about those keys is if you're going to be really subtle with them they don't always register as you can hear there can be there seems to be a fair bit of resistance on them um, they're, not, they're not weighted 
but they, they don't feel like piano keys. So if you are a pianist, you might struggle with them. You'll probably struggle with the size anyway. And if you've got big hands, you would struggle. My hands aren't too bad. In fact, they, they fit nicely onto the keys. So, so, so I'm able to um, to manage it. Now, piano sounds are all well and good, but you might want to use uh, some synth sounds now. I'm just going to load up something called Live Professor. This is um, this is something that allows you to daisy chain various VST plugins together, and I might do a review on this at some point. It's in beta at the moment. Um, just load up a project that I've been working on. No, I don't want a new project. Let's open up ah, a project called First Attempt. Now this has some. Uh, this has a synth sound with reverb and a chorus. So let's just try this. see small keyboard but a big sound and um, works very easily it's plug and play um, I plugged this in um, opened up live professor just had to tell it that I wanted that as my MIDI input on Cubase I didn't even have to tell that it just detected it and played that automatically by default so it really was dead easy to use so it's dead easy it's cheap if you've got some good software synths you really will get the best out of them because as I say I've been using the keyboard and mouse to program synths and that's a long laborious task so if you're into home recording and you're going to be using MIDI and um, even to put drum parts in you know you really do need some other input device than a mouse and a standard computer keyboard so this does the job for me and um, it really is a cracking piece of kit now you may ask this looks similar to um, a keyboard by Akai which I think is the LPK25 and you would be right the body and the styling is exactly the same the difference is the Akai is a bit more expensive but also features an arpeggiator. Now, I'm not so bothered about um, having an arpeggiator because um, I've got plenty of synths that will arpeggiate. So, if I can find an arpeggiator synth, so I'll just give this as an example. So, there we go. So it's not a function I needed to pay the extra money for. And here's the thing, right? The parent company of Ion also owns Akai and Alesis. They're two very good audio companies. And if you go on the Ion website, you will see they've got a whole range of products. So this isn't, isn't even kind of a cheap, generic Chinese brand. This is actually quite a good company. Um, now, the warranty on this, I think it's a one-year warranty in the UK. Only 90 days, three months in the US, I think. Though I have had trouble registering this for warranty because it seems to want a US state and zip code and living outside of the US I don't have those things so that's going to be interesting but anyway that's just a small gripe so anyway so it's made by a good company it's good value for money it works really well um, will it last? I don't know those keys aren't aren't probably the most robust things in the world but let's be honest with you it's not expensive either um, and um, you know I could have got a bigger a bigger keyboard I guess but look I don't have much space so I needed something small and this will work with the laptop as well and it's powered by USB no other power source needed so it's very portable as well so I give this a thumb, thumbs up in fact in fact small gripes aside I will not let those get in the way of what is a fantastic product this is 10 out of 10 for me thanks for watching <laughs>